All right, this is the procedure that I sand, okay? I start with the, the border. I do one wall at a time. Well, ceiling, then the walls. But if I'm doing it with the pole, I do the wall, then the ceiling. So what I do is I sand my angles first with the uh, electric sander because what happens is you sand your angles first because you're gonna end up hitting most of your screws, your flats, your butt joints. So you don't wanna sand the rest of that stuff first because then you'll over sand it. Sand all your angles, then sand all your screws because you will hit the flats and the butts while you're sanding them. Then you sand and actually I sand my butt joints while I sand my screws if I end up running into a butt joint, right? And then last thing is the flats, all right? I could show you real quick. set of screws that's right beside the corner. If I would have sanded the screws first, that corner would have been burnt. Same thing with the flats. You know, you don't want to leave no mud left just on the last foot of the wall before the other corner or the other wall, right? It doesn't make it look professional. the procedure and uh, this vacuum sander combo is awesome you wear a good good mask you need a good mask I know a lot of like if you're using the pole sander yeah okay a cheap little dust mask is good but when you're with a vacuum you're going slower you need a good mask and I like to have this 230 degree light on my head okay I can see everything now okay and look this is the best feature turn it on turn it off turn it on turn it off you have it a putty knife in your hand your hands are all dirty even the vacuum look Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Have a good one, guys. Hey.